do not know what to say. So, I'm gonna show you guys a really quick clip, really fast. Start off your video with a bullshit lie. What the fuck are you do? Get out my car, man. Get the fuck out of my So, I don't know, all of a sudden after this happened, like, my hand just started giving me problems. I don't know, so now I'm just wearing this so it can heal, bruh. We're gonna check out, I almost got killed by a weird guy at an empty road. This is by Wandy Entertainment. I'll leave a link to the channel below, but make sure you guys go check this out. Hold on. All right, that's better. So, hold on. Let me get my noodles. Some yummy noodles today, bruh. This is about to be epic, so. I was 25 years old and I was going to meet up with some of my friends who lived on the other side of the city. It was a four hour drive from my place, so I decided to take my own car instead of a local cab. It was my first time going alone on such a long drive and I felt nervous, but excited. At midday I packed my bags, threw them in the trunk and went off to meet my friends. It was a cold day, but the roads were clear. I didn't see much traffic as it was the holidays and people would rather spend time with their families and friends indoors and stay off the roads. Now, I'm not the type of person to go straight to my friend's house. I like to take my time. I'm a social media freak and I enjoy posting pictures pretty much all the time. So I found the journey an excellent excuse to post some extra pictures. The road I was taking had beautiful scenery and the place where my friends lived was even more magical. I stopped a lot during my ride to take pictures. I was having a great time by myself. Well, that was until the weather suddenly changed. It was around 6 p.m. and I was still driving. I still had a long way ahead of me. And that's when it started to snow. Not just a dusting of snow, it was thick and heavy. After 15 minutes or so, the roads were already covered with a few feet of snow. I felt anxious since it was getting dark and I wasn't even halfway through the drive. My car slowed down and I had to force it to run on the empty roads. The heavy snow didn't stop. I decided that I would stop at the closest gas station I could find, but unfortunately, I couldn't find one for a while. An hour later, I finally saw some light shining from the distance. It was a gas station. I pressed the accelerator, rushed to the station, parked my car, and went inside quickly. Just as I entered, a strong snowstorm started. The gas station had a little shop tucked away with some chairs to sit on. The guy at the counter was an ordinary fellow. He didn't really talk much. He only asked me where I was going in such harsh weather. After that, I bought some chips and drinks and sat down in the furthest chair from him. It was night now. I sat, munched on my food, and scrolled through an Instagram. Then, suddenly, the shop's door opened. I looked up, and a very weird-looking man entered. He had long, greasy hair, was wearing a long coat, and had a very grim expression. I saw him buy some cigarettes, and he sat down a few chairs away from me. He didn't look at me at all. At first, I ignored him, but then he started smoking. Since the shop was small and the smoke filled the air quickly, the shopkeeper told him to stop, but he didn't listen. He couldn't ask him to leave because of the storm, so he didn't say anything else. I, on the other hand, hated cigarettes. The weird guy was looking down, breathing very heavily as he smoked. It was as if he was breathing in my ears. So when he took out his fifth cigarette, I lost my temper and angrily told him to stop. He looked at me for a couple of minutes. His big eyes were red with anger. But then he smiled and stopped smoking. How you know you kind of fucked up is when he didn't say nothing, he only smiled. Nerving. I sat down again and distracted myself on my phone. Shortly afterwards, my friend called me, asking why I hadn't reached their place yet. I told him the whole story and he said the storm would soon be over and I shouldn't worry. When I hung up, I noticed the weird guy staring at my phone with deep interest. I was afraid that he was thinking of stealing it. But to my relief, after some time, he got up to leave. 
Well, I'm sure he learned that day. <laughs> Which one do you want to deal with? Googly eyes or you want to just let the man smoke? Because, I mean, there's some people that's crazy enough to where I wouldn't even say nothing to. Door, he stopped, looked back, and screamed loudly before running away, scaring the crap out of me and the shopkeeper. He didn't return after that. At 10.30 p.m., the storm ended, and I immediately left after thanking the shopkeeper. I went into my car, started it, and drove off. For some time, I drove in silence, but then I heard a noise. It sounded like heavy breathing. Man. My heart rate shot up and my hands Shit, got I'm all sweaty. sweaty. Right now, bro. Man, I'm hot and sweaty, man. I don't know what's about to go on. I told him not to say nothing to that crazy old guy. I told him not to say nothing. Up and my hands got all sweaty as the breathing sounded so familiar and so close. I looked through my rearview mirror and screamed. The weird guy from. I said something to my Uber driver. I was like, sir, can you just roll down the window? The guy from the shop was sitting in my back seat, smiling at me. I pressed the brakes very hard, got out of the car and started running. I felt him running after me too, yelling at the top of his lungs. The road was empty and I felt hopeless as I knew he was faster than me. I only looked back once to see- See, crazy people is always faster. Damn! He don't believe in the laws of nature, bro in his hand. I increased my pace, still wondering how on earth he got inside my car. I might have forgotten to lock the door when I first left to go to the gas station. But now, it was too late for regret. My life was at risk because some psychopath was after me. Now you open your mouth. You open your mouth. This man would not have bothered you. He was preoccupied with smoking his fifth cigarette. He wouldn't have thought about you. But when you open your mouth, oh, he began to think about you then. Psychopath was after me. Then I saw some headlights at a distance. I started waving my hands like a maniac, screaming for them to stop. They did, and it turned out to be my friend. He had come to pick me up as he was worried since I was pretty late and thought something went wrong. I looked back, and I saw that guy was gone. I got inside my friend's car and told him everything. He called the cops, and they arrived shortly after. We all went to my car first and noticed some marks made by a knife in the back seat. The cops couldn't find the guy anywhere. After some investigation, they let us leave. I drove my car, and my friend drove his car back to his place. The cops never found the guy. And to this day... I still wonder what would have happened if my friend didn't turn up that night. Man, you guys may say I'm insane. Look, I don't know what to say. Who go up on the floor? I don't know. Go. <clears throat> I'm staying out of it. Smash the like button, subscribe, click the bell, or just click the like button, I guess. I don't really know what to say. This was interesting because some say the guy was crazy, but maybe the guy wasn't crazy. Who knows? Alright, I'm out. Stay tuned for my next video.